there guys and as you can see we have a foldable robot um, K9 from Doctor Who sat on the build plate there which I'm just going to remove and then we're going to scoot over to the bench and fold it into its robot form. Uh, just a couple of things to note I have ignored the instructions which is not something I would generally advise anyone does but I've actually ignored the instructions and printed this with a brim it recommends not printing with a brim but using a raft but um, I kind of look at rafts as a bit of a waste of material it was almost 20 grams of filament difference which is not a huge amount but when you're talking about the model being about 36 grams and about 50 odd grams with um, with a raft you know it's, it's a bit of a waste of filament I think so I've printed this with a brim uh, which should as far as I can see should be easy enough to separate from the rest of the model um, because you can see obviously where the, the folding areas are and everything so we'll see how that goes in a minute we'll just uh, remove this from the build plate and scoot it on over to the bench and I'm just going to have a quick prod at this and see ah. that looks like it should be relatively easy to remove obviously I'm going to need both hands for this so I'm going to put the camera down we'll be back in a moment so we're here at the bench and we've got the the model's just been taken straight off the build plate, I've not removed the, the brim yet. That's the, the tail, which is basically like a little whip antenna, which slots in separately. You print that separately, it takes about two minutes to print that. And we've got various articulated bits, which just free that bit up there. We've got uh, the little side door, which opens and closes, it's kind of cool. And the head wobbles about. And we've even got little rolly wheels underneath, look, that are all printed as part of the model which is which is really kind of cool so what I'm going to do now is start peeling off the brim which as I suspected comes off quite nicely uh, I used the brim just purely to prevent curling because I um, I have experienced curling and lifting at, at the corners on larger prints and while overall this isn't a large print it's it covers pretty much the, uh, the whole of the build plate in its laid flat unfolded form so because of that it's, it's technically a larger print um, so I'm just going to go ahead carry on peeling the rest of this and we'll be back in a moment you can see there that the the brim lifted off almost entirely in one piece quite cleanly these these few little bits here were some little edge bits that stuck that I had to just pick off work my way around and pick off and it worked fine so having now tried it I can say without um, without doubt save yourself some PLA and uh, don't use a raft go and use a brim go and print it with a brim so now we're going to we're going to build build K, uh, K9 and obviously old school Doctor Who fans among us watching will know who K9 is uh, I think he did make a reappearance in one of the David Tennant ones unless I am mistaken so folding the sides first which you've got these little tabs and then we click in do, 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 do. click in the back click in the front and is there a no, I don't think it matters which way these go so fold these and click them in place and there we have it and the final little finishing detail to our little robot doggy friend is the tail that we printed separately which I believe just snaps in like so there we go and you can see we've got a movable head which wobbles a little bit and uh, oh, it's not rolling very well on there but it has got little rolly wheels which you can see there and in addition to that he's got a little uh, a little side hatch that opens up so you can see all the little computery coggy thingy me bob bits inside it, which hopefully you can see there. Isn't that cool? 
So I'm really pleased with that. I think that's I think that's pretty nifty. That's uh, that's a great fun print. Uh, the the whole print took I think about eight hours. No, actually no, no, it wasn't at all. It wasn't. It was about six hours, and it was uh, it was printed at a 0.2 mil layer height. I will put all of the settings in the um, in the what's it below the video so if you have a look down there you'll see all of the settings in Cura that were used and um, and that's pretty much it that tail's actually a little bit loose I might I might end up either gluing that or reprinting it but uh, but other than that I think that's really really cool that's just such a great fun little print you could of course print this in a silver PLA and just leave it as it is um, and um, or you could do as I've done and print it in whatever PLA you've got. I've just got this this white colour because my intention is to print things to paint anyway. And at some point I will uh, throw some paint on that and give it a bit of a paint up. So there you go. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.